In this video, I'm going to explain everything you need to know when you are replacing a steel door, a commercial hollow metal door. I have videos that show how to replace just a door and how to replace the door and the frame. So in this video, I'm going to explain how to determine what it is you need exactly and whether you can get it at the Home Depot or whether you need to go to a specialty door supplier. So let's assume they want to replace just the door. Here's what we need to do. Let's see if it works first. Okay, so it works. Let's check the width. Put our tape in there. And it's 35 and three quarters. So it's a 36 inch door. The actual door will be 35 and three quarters. Let's check the height. Just a tad over 79. So that's standard for a commercial door. So it's 36 by 80. Let's say they did want something with this window. First thing we do is take a picture of the door. That way we can share that picture with the door supplier. And then we want to measure the window. So that's eight. Well, that's eight by 23 and a half. I've never replaced one like that, but that's probably a standard size. And we need to know the bore location because we're not replacing the frame. We're just replacing the door. So we need to know where that lock is. So you put your tape on the top of the door and measure down to the middle of the lock. And you see that's at 39 and a half. If you aren't sure, open the door. So right there's 39 and a half. And it's an inch and three quarters thick. Check the back set. How far is the center of this lock from the edge of the door? In commercial, there are two and three quarters. So you see right there to the center of that lock is two and three quarters. Now we need to check the hinge locations. First off, these are four and a half inch hinges. So let's check the locations measured from the top of the door. So that first one is at seven and three eighths. Thirty-seven and a quarter. Sixty-seven and three sixteenths. And it has a tag on there, which means it's fire rated. So you gotta know the fire rating. Usually metal doors are 90 minutes. So this has a standard commercial lever lock with panic bar. So you need to know how to install that. And it has a commercial grade closer in the parallel position. So you need to know how to replace that, which is very easy. You would just take this apart and then wherever the holes are on the door here, you would just match them on the new door. Leave everything else in place. Oh, and because it just has the one knob in here, this is a single bore. So here's the info you need. Figure out the width of the door, the height. The thickness is almost always gonna be an inch and three quarters. Is it single or dual bore? Measure the location of the bore from the top of the door to the center of that lock hole. Also measure the back set. Measure the hinge locations from the top of the door to the top of each hinge, along with the size of the hinge, they will almost always be four and a half inch hinges. And check the fire rating if applicable. In most cases, those labels are usually painted over. Now let's suppose they want to replace the door and the frame for whatever reason. Here's what we need to know. This is what's called a wraparound frame. You can see the frame wraps around the wall. Then you need to get what's called a wraparound frame. This distance right here, because it has to be able to wrap around the wall. So we put our tape there at one end. So this is a seven inch, and these generally come in half inch sizes, five and a half, six, six and a half, seven, seven and a half. I've installed them up to eight and a half inches. So that's a seven inch frame. And see this little part here, this little lip on the other side, that's a half inch. 
So if you subtract this half inch and this half inch, the actual space that wraps around is gonna be six inches and that's called the throat. So a seven inch jam will come with a six inch throat. So see, I'm in like a half inch from each end. So we need something with a six inch throat. Staying with my back to the hinges and the door mimics my right hand. So this is a right hand and it goes in. We'll call this in. So this is a right hand in swing. We'd want to get a wraparound frame and it'll come in three pieces. So it's called a knockdown frame, seven inches with a six inch throat and it's a right hand in swing. It just has the one knob in here. This is a single bore. So based on that information, you can go to the Home Depot or you can go to a door supplier that handles hollow metal commercial steel doors. Here is the commercial steel hollow metal door section at Home Depot. You've got the slabs in 32 and 36. You've got the knockdown frames. They can also be used as wraparound frames. They have those in 32 and 36. 32 and 36 by 80. The frames come in 32 and 36 by 80. And then the doors are reversible, so it doesn't matter if it's a left hand, right hand, in swing, out swing. The frames are handed, so you either get a left hand or a right hand. They also have the welded frames, the pre-hung frames. And these come in single bore and dual bore. So those are 574. The frames are 124 and the door is 234. And these are all 36 by 80. And they give you the handing and they give you a fire rating. These are 90 minute. And these apparently come with the locks. And obviously the hinges are in here. And these are spring hinges. So the door will close. And these hinges are four and a half inches. Now, when you're buying just the slab, these come in 32s and 36s, 36 by 80. So you can see the actual is 35 and three quarters by inch and three quarters, 79 and an eighth. Now let's check the hinge locations. That's four and seven eighths, 35 and an eighth, 65 and three eighths. And these are four and a half inch hinges. You also want to check the bore location. So right there to the center, from the top to the center is 42. Now when you're getting the knockdown frame, and if you wanted to use this as a wraparound, you see the throat is four and three quarters. So this would wrap around a standard wall of four and a half. Now keep in mind this only has the single bore. So let's go over why none of these Home Depot doors, even though they're great doors, would work for our application. The width and the height are fine, along with the thickness. The door would fit perfectly. However, the hinge locations do not line up. You can't modify these. You can't mortise new hinge locations into a metal door and you can't change the hinge locations on a metal frame. If this was a wood frame, you could move the hinges on the frame to match the hinge locations on the door. The second issue is the lock bore location. It's not the same. If it's off a half inch or quarter inch, that's fine, but it's off by almost three inches. This will not work. I have a video that shows a complete installation of doors that I had to order to match the existing hinge locations and how I did that installation and I encourage you to see it. And as far as these knockdown frames are concerned, they do wrap around which is great and they're good quality. The height and width is correct and they do have the right handing. However, these depot doors are made for a standard four and a half inch thick wall. They have about a four and three quarters inch throat 
and that's just not wide enough for a wall that's thicker than four and a half inches, so they won't work. I have another video that shows a complete installation of one of these Home Depot wraparound frames, so you'll see exactly how and where it can be used, and I encourage you to see that. And the welded frames here would not work either. These are great products and I've used them all the time, but they're welded, which means they do not come apart. And when your frame has to wrap around the wall, you can't use a welded pre-hung door because you have to be able to take the frame apart in order to wrap it around a wall. So these will not work. I have another video that shows a complete demolition and installation of one of these welded frames exactly from the depot. And I encourage you to see that and you will know exactly uh, where to use these and how to install them. If you find that a Home Depot door will not work for your purposes, then you have to go to a door supplier. It's very easy to do and these are not hard to find. Look for a commercial hollow metal door supplier in your area. When I worked in California, I would go to USA Fire Door and Anderson Molding. In Nashville, I go to Nashville Door Closer and McCarthy Jones and Woodard. The reps who work at door suppliers like these are really sharp and they know their doors inside out. As long as you have all of the information that we reviewed at the beginning of the video, they'll be able to get you anything you want, including if you wanted to add that window that we looked at. Right next to the door, they have all of the associated commercial hardware, which is nice. You have the strike plates and those fit right there. And then they've got all the hinges, four and a half inch commercial hinges. These are spring hinges. And then they have, so here are the regular hinges. They just happen to have, see, these are four and a half inch. And these are ball bearing hinges. Most commercial hinges are NRP, non-removable pins. So they have the little set screw in there that you need an Allen wrench to get the screw out so that you can get the pin off. And these are not what you see. These doors are reversible, so that hinge could go on that side. You could also go on that side. You got a panic bar, also called a push bar or touch bar. You've got door sweeps. You've got the commercial thresholds. The closers, heavy duty and medium duty closers. And then you've got the commercial locks. Commercial locks, storeroom, passage, and then keyed entry. So the keyed entry just works like any keyed lock. You can unlock it or lock it with a key. Passage means there is no lock on it. So you would have this like on a closet or a hallway. Storeroom lock, it's always locked on one side and it's always unlocked on another side. So the only on the lock side, the only way you can get in is with a key. Once you unlock it with a key, it doesn't stay unlocked. It's always locked. You need the key. That's all of your commercial steel stuff you can get at the Home Depot. Keep in mind, they don't have these at all Home Depots, only some of them.